Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. It's the other Wednesday, which makes today Hidden Figures Day. And today's hidden figure is Sheila Johnson, who is one of the co-founders of BET along with her husband. And I feel like whenever people sort of talk about um, the founding of BET or the black entertainment television, obviously, a lot of the times people focus on her husband. Um, and they don't talk enough about Sheila Johnson herself. And she's actually quite accomplished. So I wanted to do this video on her so that people could lo know um, a little bit more about her. So Sheila Johnson is an African-American entrepreneur who co-founded Black Entertainment Television or BET and is the part owner of three sports teams in the NHL, which is the National Hockey League, the NBA and the WNBA. Sheila Johnson was born on January 25th, 1949 in McKeesport, Pennsylvania. She co-founded BET in 1979 with her husband. The successful station focused on African-American audiences and was sold to Viacom in 2002. Johnson then used the money to invest and became part owner of sports teams, including the Washington Capitals at the NHL, the Washington Wizards in the NBA, and the Washington Mystics in the WNBA. So she's very, very invested in Washington, D.C. And she is the second wealthiest black female in the United States. Entrepreneur Sheila Crump Johnson was born on January 25th, 1949 in McKeesport, Pennsylvania. Her father, a neurosurgeon who worked for the Veterans Administration, and her mother, an accountant, were both accomplished pianists. Johnson inherited her parents' musical talents, beginning to play the violin seriously at the age of nine. Johnson also displayed flashes of her future entrepreneurial spirit as a child. She crafted purses out of oatmeal boxes and potholders, going door to door to sell them to her neighbors. Due to her father's job with the Veterans Administration, Johnson's family was often on the move, relocating 12 times during her childhood before finally settling down for good in Maywood, Illinois, just outside of Chicago. There, she attended Irving High School before transferring to Proviso. An accomplished young musician, in high school, Johnson served as the concertmaster of the Illinois All-State Choir, and upon graduating from Proviso High School in 1966, she received a full scholarship to study music at the University of Illinois. Her assigned mentor during orientation week was an upperclassman named Robert Johnson, who we all know is the founder of BT, and the pair quickly fell in love. Two years later, in 1969, they married. Sheila Johnson sewed her own wedding dress from an idiot proof in quotations, McCall's pattern and the ceremony cost a grand total of $50. In 1971, two years after her marriage, Johnson graduated from Illinois with a bachelor's degree in music performance and education. After her graduation, Johnson moved to Washington, D.C. There, she landed a job teaching violin at the prestigious Sidwell Friends School, which is where the uh, Obama girls went, while her husband took a job with the Public Broadcasting Corporation. To supplement her teacher's salary, Sheila Johnson also began teaching private violin lessons out of her home. The lessons grew into a successful enterprise, and when Johnson had enrolled 100 students, she quit her job at Sidwell Friends to devote all her attention to private teaching. She took her students on several tours around the world, including a stop in Jordan where they performed for the king and queen. And it was by running her own music instruction business that Johnson developed into a shrewd businesswoman. I learned tax law, how to deduct for the space, even for toilet paper, she later recalled. I always kept good records. While Johnson concentrated on her music business, her husband managed to secure a $500,000 investment from cable TV mogul John Malone, allowing Robert and Sheila Johnson to co-found their own cable TV network, Black Entertainment Television, or BET, in 1979. A decade later, in 1989, Sheila Johnson left her music business to join BET full-time as head of community relations. She also developed and produced her own show, Teen Summit, an acclaimed talk show where African-American youth discussed the pressing issues of the day. However, as BET devoted more of its airtime to music videos, Johnson grew disenchanted with the direction of the network. She said, I do worry about young kids at such an early age watching videos day in and day out. Johnson frequently expressed her grievances to her husband and received the unvarying response. It's not about education, it's about entertainment. So I find it really interesting that people talk a lot about how, how the direction of BET kind of ended up going, and then you kind of find out that it was more so Robert Johnson that was behind that direction, and Sheila Johnson was kind of like, I don't know about this direction that we're heading in, right? That's kind of, that's an interesting little tidbit that's never really talked about. 
Professional differences became personal differences, and Sheila and Robert Johnson divorced in 2002, splitting after 33 years of marriage. They have a daughter, Paige Johnson, a world-class equestrian with Olympic ambitions, as well as a son, Brett Johnson. Two years before their divorce, in 2000, Robert Johnson sold BET to Viacom for $3 billion. So he's even the one that made the executive decision to sell. Since her divorce, Sheila Johnson has developed into an extraordinarily successful entrepreneur in her own right. In 2005, she founded Salamander Hospitality, a hospitality and management company through which she owns and manages two resorts and an inn, among other properties. She is also the vice chairman of Monumental Sports and Entertainment as the majority owner of the Washington Mystics WNBA franchise and a minority owner of the NBA's Washington Wizards and NHL's Washington Capitals. She is the first black woman with a stake in three professional sports teams. She's also a documentary film producer of acclaimed pictures such as A Powerful Noise which came out in 2008, The Other City and, and excuse me and The Other City 2010, a film about the AIDS epidemic in Washington DC which is a huge problem and it has been ever since I was young. In 2005, Johnson married for a second time to the Honorable William T. Newman Jr., the judge who presided over her divorce proceedings three years prior. Johnson and Newman did not meet at the divorce proceedings, however. They had actually acted together in a play many years before. After hearing her divorce was finished, Johnson recalls, I asked if I could approach the bench. She then walked up to Newman and asked, do you remember me? After her divorce in 2002, she also sold off all of her shares in BET and has since invested more in hotels in Florida and Virginia, in planes, real estate, and horses. She also produced the critically acclaimed 2013 film, The Butler, which tells the story of a former slave turned White House employee. Asked what business model has allowed her to achieve such incredible success, Johnson revealed that her business model is not to follow any model. When I instinctively feel it is the right move to make, I do it, she explained, adding, and I don't do it in a stupid way. I do it where I can really see the upside. Sheila Johnson, a hidden figure. Wasn't that just like, people should talk more about her because I really find her to be extremely interesting. So there's going to be a lot of links um, and information in the description box if you guys want to read more about her. Hopefully you guys are having a good week, a good Wednesday. Um, it's hump day, so the week is halfway over. You halfway made it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.